Back in April, I shared a video in which I talked about how I'd moved from using retinols to retinaldehyde, also known as retinal. The brand I was using was Medicaid's Retinal in Strength 6, and I felt I was seeing some good skin smoothing results from it. The only problem was the expense. It's £59 or $77 for 30 milliliters. And when I stepped up to the more powerful Strength 10, the price also stepped up to £79 or $100. Then a viewer pointed out that a European brand called Geek and Gorgeous were also selling a same strength retinaldehyde serum, but for more than half the price. Naturally, I snapped up a bottle and decided to compare the high cost and budget versions to see which one works best. So let's find out. So this Geek and Gorgeous Strength 10 Retinal Serum cost €18.50, that's around £16 or $21. But the shipping was €15, Euros, which for a product this size is pretty excessive. And it meant the total cost in pounds to me was around 30 and that would be about $40 if you're watching in the US. But even with that excessive shipping charge, it was still over half the price of the Medicaid Serum, which I got on Amazon with free shipping, and I will link to both products in the description below. Incidentally, if you spend over 50 euros from the EU or UK, or 60 from the US on the Geek and Gorgeous site, you get free shipping. So they're basically trying to incentivize you into buying more than one item at a time. If you're not familiar with retinal, retinaldehyde, then it's designed to be 10 times faster working than retinol. And that's because retinol, needs two metabolic conversion steps to reach its most active form, which is retinoic acid, otherwise known as tretinoin. Retinal, on the other hand, is only one conversion step away from that most active form. So manufacturers would say it's basically the next best thing to tretinoin. In terms of strength, the strength 10, which is a 0.1% retinal serum, would be comparable to a retinal at around the 1% mark, but it's likely to be less irritating on your skin. So comparing these two retinal products then, the Medicaid is a really gently, pleasantly scented, orangey colored serum, which is nicely packaged in this silver 30 milliliter tube. And the serum itself is quite thick and it glides beautifully over your skin. So you get a nice even spread, and uh, for my full face and neck, I would usually use about a blueberry sized dollop under my moisturizer at night. In both cases, the idea is you build up from lower strength retinols in their range to the strength 10. So I was stepping up from Medicaid strength six retinol. And to compare these two 30 milliliter products directly, I decided for a period of about six weeks to use the Geek and Gorgeous Serum on the left of my face, and the Medicaid on the right to see if I noticed any difference between them. When I first used these 0.1% products on my skin, I found it really interesting that I reacted almost exactly the same on either side. So that first time I used them, my skin felt a little flush for an hour or so, but not much more than that. And that kind of told me they were of a very similar strength and formulation. The Geek and Gorgeous Serum is lighter in texture and it's bright yellow in color, which was a bit off-putting at first. It's also fragrance-free and it doesn't have the luxury touches of the Medicaid, but if it works, who cares? Now, cutting to the chase about the results, I'm gonna say that overall, beyond those superficial things I mentioned around fragrance, color, and texture, I felt there was very little difference in how these products worked on my skin. On both sides, my skin is clearer, brighter, and people have been saying to me how good my skin is looking at the moment. But I felt that on the Medicaid side, the skin on my forehead, just for a while, it's not so noticeable now, but for a while, it was more bumpy, as this picture shows, certainly more so than the Geek and Gorgeous side. So I would say that the cheaper product was actually a little faster working than the more expensive Medicaid. 
Now, because the medicate is at a thicker consistency and it's easier to spread, I think I will get a little bit longer out of this serum. But even if it outlasts Geek & Gorgeous by a week or two, it's still going to be a hugely more expensive product. In my last video, I shared a before and after picture showing my skin before I started using retinol. And remember, I was starting on the lower strength, retinol uh, 6 um, from Medicaid. And then again, after several months of use. And in the pictures, I think you can see my skin is smoother and consequently appears a little more lifted, especially around the eyes. Since moving up to the stronger strength 10, I've got to say, I haven't noticed my skin any smoother in terms of lines, particularly around the eyes, but it is clearer, especially in my nose, where the skin is the clearest it's ever been, without a doubt. So to me, retinol is proving to be a useful anti-aging and skin clearing product. Definitely less irritating than the higher strength retinols I've used in the past. So I intend to keep using it for now, and I'm likely going to save myself some money and next time order Geek & Gorgeous. Hopefully uh, this video comparison of the two products will be helpful for you too if you've been looking at a retinaldehyde. And I do love to hear your thoughts and whether you've tried either of these products. So if you have, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already subscribed, then by doing so, you'll see my next videos as soon as they're published. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll get an alert when they're live. So until next time, thanks for watching.